So somebody made my build an Elden Ring and they did a no hit run with my build. What is up everybody? In this video, we're gonna be no hitting Elden Ring and all of its main bosses using the same build as the legendary Souls gamer, Asmongold. Oh my fucking god. For each main boss we encounter, we're gonna be matching his exact weapons, yep. upgrade levels, armor, and talismans that he used for that specific oh boss. Oh my god. You might be thinking that since this was the build he used on his first playthrough, it's probably a garbage it's build. It's not. But that isn't exactly the case. True. True. Thank you, bro. Thank you. This build was fucking insane. Look at this. This is the I, I remember whenever Morgot, whenever I killed Morgot so fast. This is really funny. So I killed Morgot in like I, like seven hits or something like that. And then I remember going and watching Emmy play against Morgot whenever she was doing Elden Ring. And I was like He has a pole arm? What's he doing with these like daggers that what the fuck? Like you could die to this boss? Like how do you how do you die to this boss? <laughs> like I was just like so massively over leveled it was hilarious. Dude, this build was nuts. Zach set up that Asmongold had in his first yeah. playthrough against By the Morgoth. way, I've watched a lot of this guy's videos. Like he does no hit runs for Elden Ring. Like he'll go and just like, you know, do like five a day. Gino <laughs> Machine on YouTube. Help coming up with this build because okay, I highly this was a really, really bad time. This was the worst fucking boss, man. Oh my god, this was bad. Out any WoW player smart enough to come up with something like this? Yeah. Can't see. I, mean, can't see anything. I hate this oh, dick so sucker. So mad. I should have rolled. All forward. joking aside, it's actually an insane build for a first playthrough, and would only. That's need right. Uh, uh, uh. A few small tweaks to be a top tier setup for no hit runs. You see that? This is reminding me of the Bolt of Grand. Oh, wait, hold up, hold up, real quick. Let's hear that again. Joking aside, it's actually an insane build for True. a first playthrough. Yeah. You only need a few small tweaks to be a. Look at that. 20K. Uh -huh. Top tier setup for no hit runs. This is reminding me Wait, of what the few small tweaks to be a top tier setup for no hit runs. What was that? Sub right now or he'll one shot you. Okay. This is reminding me of the Bolt of Grand Sacks run we did. That, like, obviously, this is a way harder version. As Do you guys remember ball. that last year when we were go doing the run request no hit runs and I was doing Bolt of Grand Sacks and I just kept getting hit to stuff? Like, just every possible hit I could take, I have taken so far. Since I've guaranteed win on December 7th mm -hmm. when they play Leafs, there's no way, dude. Sends are so bad. So I want to see him fight some of these bosses. Oh, he's going up against this? Okay, yeah, this is exactly what I did. Yeah, this was me. Okay. Bro, like, this guy is... It's like, think about how many times he's killed Tree Sentinel. Or maybe just a, you know? a case of, you know, It's like another players. day at the job. And he's doing the jump attacks you know, even like, this even early. too much cap, and so they just can't, like... Build the spaces around them well enough. Jesus, man, he's literal Which Elden is Lord. He is. To what ha is happening in Edmonton? It feels like, right? Oh my God. I want to see. I want to see Margit. Yeah, let I me see there Margit. There's a huge gap, actually. There's a fairly sizable gap between like him and McKinnon. Look at that, two hundred damage right now. You remember back whenever I got the golden Halibardo and I one-shot Margit? Remember that, guys? That was a that was a what a great day for me. Yep. There's a decent gap, but it's not like Gretzky gap. I'm surprised he hit him I there. Guess, I mean, to be fair, Lemieux was insane. I thought he'd too, get but... him with the uh, with the daggers because he has hand up. <laughs> Obviously, something I don't know. Oh, he does it inside whenever the animation's ending. That's why. Yeah, that's what it is. You see how good this build is, guys? It's fucking nuts. McConnell was so jealous of your build. Yeah, but he had like that one time on the gargoyles where he killed a boss faster yeah, I, than me. I, I usually don't talk about sports this much, dude, but this is what I, it's happening because I'm having to reset a million Look times. Look at this. I love this how that ability is such bullshit. Even he streamer. just avoids it. Yeah, I'm really happy to see that. 
Oh my god, such a sad story. He is. Please don't. You gotta start talking about stuff. That aren't the game. Cat, yeah, just casually no hitting the boss. It's not really a big deal, you know? You just you just don't get hit by the attacks. Well, he jumped over it. Oh my god. There it is. I cannot believe he, he survived with that cheeky cheeky one HP. Prefer watching Jesus. college hockey over NHL? Is the officiating better at the college level? Oh my god. It'd be literally extremely hard to imagine worse than Let's see. NHL officiating. When does he get and, uh, when does he get two weapons? Yeah. Because like whenever I got two weapons, oh bro, Radon. A little bit. Like, do y'all remember whenever everybody was telling me like so whenever I fought Radon, I refused to use summons against the boss. And everybody was like telling me they're like, you have to use summons, it's part of the fight. And I was like, Well a class. No, that's you not. Will you know, it's, a, it's something that's like, interesting. There's no I way. I'm not saying this is what you're saying. And I but beat him. A lot of people, I, I feel like a lot of people think that the classes that they summons? pick in yep, Elden Ring right. are, or in Souls games in general are super important. They're really not. It was unnerfed. Yep, it was. And I fought him on the horse the entire time. It's not like an MMO where you pick a class at the start of the game and you're just forced to use that class the entire time. This boss is you know, hard all for me? He's really a hard just, boss. You're starting levels and just bro just he's just walking that, that around be, be like he's not even fixed. doing anything he's just I mean, walking your starting around stats, i guess are your starting stats but jesus christ bro this guy he's done it so many times this is the best it's transition really of like game. any game ever. people ask me that about oh, that all the time is he gonna make him like kill oh himself? man what class do i pick like it's such a big deal it's it's really not that big no game. okay yeah people do that they have him like fall we should get a stun and he'll like fall against like the edge and just like die to fall damage we're done so easy as a mage uh, everything's so easy as a mage. Uh, I played a mage build. It was uh, a complete joke. Here it is. See, this is how good the build Redan is, Redan was a negative poise that whole time. Everybody was he talking can't be shit. during that animation, so I just had to attack him once he got out of it to Jesus. get the stun. Jesus. Go back and try Redan uh, before the first nerf. I'm not going to lie. I okay, now he's got two weapons. Now he's really gaming, because he's got the jump attacked cloak there. He's got both weapons, and he's got the helmet that gives you plus five strength. Dude, imagine wiping to this boss once. Imagine dying. That's Pretty busted. That's just that the way it is, is. This is the exact same thing as Mordo in his first playthrough against Morgoth. <laughs> That's I, right. I, I do believe he first tried him. I did. Which is understandable considering this insane. So, damage. I first tried him, and like I don't, I don't want to say this because it kind of breaks the uh, the thing. But I did the same thing. Like I actually, I made it take longer to kill the boss because I just thought to myself, this is so anticlimactic. It's going to disappoint the viewers if I don't at least keep this guy alive for a minute or two. That was the reason. Like, I would have killed him in, like, seconds. But I'm like, okay, I'm just going to make it. I'm going to make this take a little bit longer, right? Image, but I did yeah, the same thing on Gwyn. Like, I remember whenever I fought Gwyn in Dark Souls 1, I almost killed him on my first try, and I died on purpose, and I, I, I tried to kill him with no armor on. Because I realized it was so easy, it would be embarrassing. Sure, bud. No, I'm serious. To be fair, though, he a lot of the time he didn't end up using all of his buffs. He, he kind of just like, not. forgot a bunch of times or just didn't care I, to use it. But th this yep. is like this is exactly his build. Only thing I you hate about Godskin Duo is the arena. I completely disagree. I, I don't want to get into it. I would say they've made probably about three respectable duo bosses in total. One of which is I would say God tier. The rest of them just throw them in the trash bag, dude. Honestly. Let's hear him. Um, obviously, first is Demon Princess, Duo Ape, and Sekiro, although not a Souls game. Demon but... Princess. Oh, oh, oh. In Dark Souls 3, the Lothric Prince. Yeah. I'd say Dark Lurker. I probably, I think in my tier list, I put Dark Lurker at a B, and I, I think that's respectable. Simone Ornstein is trash bag tier.
All that being said, I think it's better balanced than Godskin Duo is. I put Godskin mm -hmm. Duo's F tier. That's my fundamental problem with almost every duo boss that FromSoft has made. Basically, they put two enemies in a boss arena, especially in this game. They put two enemies in a boss arena, yep. and that's it. So I think there needs to be a mechanic, and Demon Princess is the perfect example of that with the embered states that they have. That allows you to isolate them, and the game does the work for you. And yeah, it's a... It's oh, a Demon Princess. He's not talking about Prince Lothric. He's talking about the two Demon Princes in the Ring City. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I could see that. Uh, God's can do it was easy. Well, I think that what he's saying is like, I think that his criticism is that with, for example, Demon Princes and the duo Ape and Sekiro, the meta for fighting Ornstein and Smo and for fighting the Godskin duo is to have one of them walking into a pillar while you're fighting the other one. It's kind of like a very cheesy strategy that you're intended to use. So it's like you're effectively trying to game the programming of the fight. And so the two examples that he used are examples where there is no line of sight that you can do that with. And I think that's a good point that he brings up. Perfectly balanced duo fight, not to mention it's in, like just so cool. Moveset's really good and you have the awesome face too. But that's why it's my number one ranked boss for me personally in, in all of Souls games. The demon and, boss. And of I course, like the demon you know, boss so everyone talks about ONS being such an iconic boss and all that stuff. It is iconic. It's true. I mean, it's absolutely true. Yeah. For me, that what really makes that boss absolute trash is the the glitches in the fight. But even if you see, he the didn't glitch... show the real boss. The real boss in this uh, in this castle. You remember me fighting that fucking revenant knight or whatever the fuck it was, and I died to him like seven times. I died to him they more wouldn't than be this above boss. a C-tier boss for me at all. Bro, like, like this whole area was a bad time for me. Look for at that me. damage, guys. Look at that. Because they're just, they're missing the proper balance, and they're missing the mechanic that allows you to isolate the, the Yeah, enemies. the teleporting one? Yeah, look at that. 2,000 so damage. You, what you end up having to do is just kite them around. You know, try to poke yourself in and bait out attacks so that you can what? find an opening. I remember what, what, actually what? attack the boss. 2.5k. Why would you not follow up? Literally bastard? fucking chunking them. Mountain of Giants, trash zone. Ah, uh, it's a little unnecessary. I mean, if somebody made a mod for Elden Ring, I'd probably cut out a lot of it. Look at that damage. And he's only doing it with one attack, too. Whoa. 3,000. He just walked to the left. What the fuck? Most monsters, you can avoid their attack by walking around them. That's that's my secret in Monster Hunter. You don't want to get hit by an attack? Move away from the attack. Oh, what a massive hit that was. 3,000 damage. An insane headshot. Well, G Gideon's a horrible boss no matter how you look at it, honestly. I think I put Gideon as the lowest ranking boss in my tier list. In, in all of Souls games. Oh, here's and, Melania. Including Sekiro. Oh, but you could abuse it walking around? Yeah. I remember this boss was actually pretty hard for my build. Just move away. Yeah, exactly. Oh, this fucking bullshit, man. Oh, God. I set up a little bit. I never figured out how to do that. Blaine McCoy, yeah, I love this fight. Dex versus Dex. Jesus, dude. Oh, I fucking hated it. This fight pissed me off so much. I feel like this fight's actually pretty easy. It's just the waterfowl dance is so ridiculously hard. And I remember, wait, didn't I do that too? Where I just ran in, I, I realized that like if I impaled her, it would stagger her. I think I did that too. Yeah, he's playing it the exact way I did. Holy shit. Garbage mechanic? Yeah, it's a little annoying. Do people do boss attack avoiding runs? I don't know. Come on, input read it. Jesus, bro. He just walks around. Like, that's not even a big deal for him. He just walks over there. Move waterfall? Is she still Melania then? Well, I don't know. I would say that, like, uh, she wouldn't be that hard of a boss. It's just that one mechanic that's like kind of a gimmick. How the fuck? Because he's done it like 150 times, he knows how to do it. That's how. That's how the fuck. 
He doesn't care? Yeah, he just doesn't care. He just walks over not there. the most uh, stellar phase one I've ever seen. Yep, not a big deal. Probably everybody does his boss 150 times. I don't know. I remember it took me like uh, like four, like 70 tries, I think, to kill this boss. Maybe it wasn't 70, it was like 40. Like, I don't know. I remember it took me a while. Like at least a couple of hours. Jesus, look at that damage, guys. I, I, I really put together a great build, didn't I? This is really something special. She's already half health. Look, look at that. 2,000. 150 times? Yep, there it is. Took me two or three days. Boss is hard. Yeah. No, I mean, this is a, it, it is a hard boss. It's not like it's an easy boss. Jesus, man. The jump attacks. They are so good. I'm gonna fuck you up real quick. Yeah, exactly. There's no better game than this. Elden Ring is a top 10 game of all time. In my opinion. Look at that, bro. Like, look at that, look at that, bro. Look at the damage. Jesus. Oh, wow. What a build. That was not a good fight, dude. Damn. <laughs> that was really not good. Damn. What? Watch Malekith. Oh, look at that. Just bring him to the center. Jesus, sure, bud. Yeah, mm. it was nuts. The gargoyles were OP. Yeah, the gargoyles I had a bit of trouble on. Not a whole lot. Not my best roll right there. No hit runs are always crazy. Yeah, I know. The halibardo is the true, the true best weapon in the game. Like, it's not Rivers of Blood or some fucking Moonveil Katana bullshit or some big hammer. Nah, bro. It's just dual halibardos. That's it. How's this a starter weapon? What the fuck? I don't know if that, if that roll on the first projectile was bad or if it just looked weird because we didn't. All right, here it is. Yeah, he did a complete no-hit run with my build. Look at that damage. 2.5k. Okay, how about? Yeah. I would not have the patience for no hit run games. Yeah, I know. I'd probably run in there and get hit all the time. Definitely. Modified. Calm down, Ego Andy. I know. I know, man. But, like, damn. Bro. Like, I remember I felt like I was power gaming whenever I was using this build. It was absolutely fucking insane. Game is goaded. It is. It is so good, man. Ooh, sparkly boys. I remember what I would do against this mechanic is I would just sit there and heal through it. Yeah, it worked really well. Oh, I didn't even know there was a wall here. So DLC drops in less than a month? For sure. For sure. It's gonna be next month next month, guys. Jesus. I feel like this is what happens, right? Is like uh And the same thing happened, I feel like it's happened with Monster Hunter 2. Because like the strategy that I look at that dude, look at that damage. Look at that's fucking yeah, gotta insane. Keep in mind the wall is is pretty close here. DLC is gonna drop a week before Silk Song. That's fine. I'll probably finish the DLC in probably two or three days, and I'll play Silk Song when it comes out. Monster Hunter, twenty-year-old franchise. It is. It's a very old franchise. I didn't even know that. Bro, like the tail. It's actually crazy, like, isn't it crazy to think that, like, this game came out and everybody had 
like expectations for this game, bro. What a fuck was just like the expectations for the game were so high, and then the game not only met those expectations but exceeded them. It was just like people expected it to be like the greatest game ever, and somehow it was even better than that. It was nuts, dude. What a shitter, boss. Mm -hmm. There we go, man. That, that was that was genuinely a harder Elden Beast fight than most of the Master Run fights we got because they're just such a terrible combination of Elden Stars with <laughs> the flying attack and talk about the, the mid roll and all this nonsense this combining very, together, great, dude. Great Observe the bald head. Take it in. Final maybe, moments of the bald maybe. head. Oh there we go, dude. Yeah, the reroute paid off, man. Yeah, really fun run to do though, man. With like True. honestly such a sick build. Yeah, there what a is. what a tough Elden Beast fight, man. That that fight can be scripted. Like most of the time, that fight's scripted. Wow. The only way Watch it's not is fight? if he does exactly what he does, what he did there, okay. and swim at that weird angle. That's the only way it's not. Surely my character looks like Asmongold, right? Oh my, my default god! Male character with just bald. Doesn't bald even head. have any eyebrows. Yeah, we started off easy, kind of, with this one. This was a really strong build. I, I honestly, I would be shocked if anybody else had a good uh, a build as good as this one. Because yeah, I mean, it, it, this build's broken as hell, dude. So, is that right? Much more smooth if you learn going in and thing and the damage man winner's one yep there it is he's still only using one weapon and it doesn't even matter oh he got the bonus attack in before he did the visceral jesus Jesus, look at this. Bro. This guy not even doing anything. Jesus. TCS is better than jump attack. It's basically the same thing, man. Uh, look at that. He didn't even do anything. Rough. I missed that headshot. Oh my god. Wow. Nice. Damn. Yeah, unfortunately yeah, I missed that ability. headshot. Yep, on it's the, unavoidable damage. Prior to the repost, which wasn't great. Oh my god. Does that count as not as being hit? No, not really. I mean, it's like, yeah, I wouldn't say it's, it counts. Holy fuck, man. She break, breaking the game with this build somehow. Can't wait to watch Asma reacting to this and make and molding like no tomorrow. Nah, bro. Like this is just like yeah, Asma got saw all the items and his shiny head like a crystal ball. That's why his build was so good on his first playthrough. No, it's because I play Poe. That's actually the reason why my build is very good. Because in Poe, what you do is you get one skill and you have one thing, and you use one key to unlock every door, and you just make that key the biggest hardest thickest with the largest aoe radius and multiplier crit scaling as possible and you just use that one thing on everything and i was like okay i'm gonna put every point of everything that i have in jump attack and it worked big surprise Man, I'm just glad to, I, I'm, I feel so vindicated. This is a Gino Machino video. He does like so many Elden Ring, like no hit runs. I'll link you guys the video. This is so good.